Oh, hey, Espers. How are you doing? Sorry for the shaky cam here. Adjust it. Got a little rusty, too. Oh, hey, Mark. Hi, Dave. Everyone's a plate, huh? Yep, it's a moon night I'm doing today. Um, I haven't done a stream in a while, and I got a few moon night uh, requests, so I figured I would start with him. Well, 10. I mean, by the time I finish this, though, then it'll be 12 and what have you. It's a little much later than I'm used to doing these drawings. I normally do them at, um, I think it's like 5 was when I was doing them, 5 o'clock. So I'm just looking something up here. <laughs> Max, you had your chance, and you wanted a Vivek, all right? So let those Dazzler dreams die, will you? I wouldn't even know. I don't even know what she looks like. So I guess I'm uh, trying to figure out what to draw, like as in how to draw Moon Knight. Uh, what have you all been up to in the last, I think it's, I'm trying to figure out when I, I streamed last, and it's at least a month anyway, it must be maybe two months. Max says, I should just add a bubble that says, oh, okay, here you go, Max. I'm... Dazzler. There you go. I guess too, too bright, isn't it? You can't really see it. There you go. See? I'm Dazzler. I've not seen your Instagram, Max. I actually don't know if I do. Maybe I don't follow you. I'll, I'll correct that. Mark, I'm doing art also, painting Hellboy minis. Oh, okay, cool. What are these minis? Are they like? For D D or something, or <laughs> I should put that 
actually this fucking Dazzler isn't actually going to be in this. Docks with his background. <laughs> oh wow, so people come to here. Um music's a little bit loud, sorry. Let me see. Um Thank you for the hot dogs, Max. I have no idea what, why do, why am the I am the one who's on Twitch and doesn't know anything about it. Um, hey, G -G 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 Matrix. Um, Mark A's got some so contrast paints and trying them out on the big gorilla. Nice. I didn't even know they did those. Um, when it rains, yes, without the really catch this. I've missed your streams. Oh, thanks. Uh, rains. I am. Um, well, I haven't been doing them because uh, I've been busy. These, these really do take up uh, a chunk of my day. As it turns out, I'm waiting for approval on some covers. Um, I sent in some roughs last night and today, and I haven't heard back yet, so I figured I would just get... make a start on some commissions. Um, so leaving them all last minute. So I will be streaming a lot more, well, more, in the next four weeks. While I do my New York Comic Con commissions. Um, so, yeah, if you have missed streams, you shall have more to watch for the immediate future. I have a few Moon Knights, of course, and I have some fun ones I've drawn before, where there's Batman I've talking before. There's a Superman in there that should be interesting. Um, Thor. Um, yeah, so if you, if you haven't really done much before, so I'm kind of looking forward to those, but I know. I'm a little rusty, so I should stick with something I'm more uh, familiar with, such as Mr. Knight. Bam. Arc, it's plastic figures on the Hellboy board game that looks kickstarted. Oh, cool! Uh, Dave, there's a dungeon crawler Hellboy board game. If it's not tracked, it's probably the only one. I'm. Mm, I've only really ever played one Trek board game and I liked it, but I, I don't. It didn't open me up to all the possibilities of board games. Exciting possibilities, and I just like that one game. I'm not good at trying new things. Oh, sorry, I won't be at uh, New York either, Ains. Sorry, I'm sorry, you won't be at New York. I will be. I'm not sorry, I will be there. I am not. I am sorry, you will not be there. Espers, yes, that's your door. Um, actually, Espers, uh, what I what I heard was Ragnarok Thor slash um, um, War Realms Thor. So I'm not exactly sure which is which. Oh, Mark, to be the father, let me see. Oh man, they're cool. Do you paint all those? Nice one, man. I like the demonic Hellboy. That one's class. Oh, one eye Thor with hair. Okay, that's cool. I'd actually kind of like to draw. I haven't drawn that one before. Oh, do you mean like um, unworthy Thor? Effectively. Do you want him with me, um, longer, or uh, with his axe, or? Cool, cool, cool. Actually, yeah, that'd be fun.
Do, 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 do. Okay, you don't know. Max, what's your favorite Thor? Look at that clip besides Jim Thor is the obvious best choice. Um, well, I wouldn't say Jim Thor is the obvious best choice because women suck. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I haven't read it all, actually. Um, I kind of trailed off Thor there uh, when S. Edrebic finished his first arc. But I actually recently bought a big chunk of a collection. It looks like, I think it's the first, like, 12 or 15 issues of... Um, of uh, Jason Aaron's run and uh, it was savage and I, I bought I bought it because I, I thought okay cool I'm gonna finally read the the Jane Foster Thor and uh, it didn't even get that far so but I was annoyed um but yeah I'm looking forward to actually catching up on on all that but I don't know it's weird I like all the visuals of Thor, but um, I've rarely really drawn him in a way that I'm happy with. Um, if I'm being honest. So, I mean, I kind of drew classic Thor and Thunderbolts, or it was his clone, um, and that was fun. But um, I do like the kind of more current, barbarianly looking versions of him. So uh, that seems to be in line with what Hesperus is looking for. So I think that'll be fun. Oh cool, gorilla! Oh man, oh little little hell boy, the gorilla looks so cool. Oh man, they, those look great. Sorry, I'm getting distracted here. Uh, Dave. Stupid Dave, Strider is Aragorn. Oh, can't believe you don't know that. Death, Death Alchemist. Yeah, um, actually, if you look at my Twitter, Death Alchemist, I drew a headshot of Superman while on holiday, and uh, it came up pretty nice. But that was just a headshot. I actually quite like Superman, and I'm actually really looking forward to doing that one. It's a watercolour as well, so it will be a bit more challenging. So yeah, I'm kind of building up towards that uh, Superman and the Thor too. Those ones will be pretty, pretty cool, I think. Can't remember out what else sound there is off the top of my head. There's a few Moon Knights. Um, what else? Ah, oh, look. Do, 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 do. Let me see, start. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a Taskmaster I have to do, it's a watercolor as well. Uh, there's Captain America, that'll be cool. Um, Batman, Thor, Superman, and like four Moon Knights. So, this is one of four Moon Knights I'll have to do. Sort of like I like drawing Moon Knight clearly, um, but like I'm glad it's just four of them because uh, then I just go mad on the same thing over and over again.
Doing Hesperus, um, will I be at my table most of the time at New York Comic Con or will I do a panel? Um, I am not down for any panels, um, I'm afraid. Uh, no one asked, so yeah. Um, I'll be signing the Marvel booth at one some stage and I'll be doing signings at my table. I won't be at my table the whole time. Um, I've done that in the past and it's just really, really wiped me out. So um, this year I'm going to do like specific signing times, um, but I haven't missed it. So you'll know I'll be there, so you don't have to wait around forever. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, um, being at the table the whole time is uh, pretty exhausting. Um, I'm generally there because I'm trying to sell a book or something, but um, it's just so much. Well, I read Savage Town last weekend. The Irish words were easier to read than the Yorkshire terms I wanted to read in a book. That's good. I'm glad. Uh, thanks for thanks for reading it. Uh, if you like Irishisms, I have a new one coming out. It's not as Irishy as only as a, a Savage Town, for what it's worth. People probably wouldn't notice this, but um, in Moon Knight, I actually gave him cowboy boots, not um, not regular suit shoes. That's why they're so pointy. <laughs> Even though he's wearing a suit, I figured uh, a kick with a cowboy boot would be a lot more forceful than a. Uh, a 
regular suit. There's this guy. Exactly, nice kicking boots. I like the word the, the use of the word sound as in great, I think. Uh, yeah, that's that's exactly what sound means. You could say somebody is sound or something is sound. Uh, Mark on the chat, for example, is sound. I'm already half an hour with this, it's all rusty. Um, okay, back on the ground, back on the ground. Over there to the background. Maybe I back this out. No, even the city lights. I draw in the foreground. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. <laughs> I wasn't fishing for that, but I will take it. Sorry, I'm just looking up the uh, reference photo here. Do, 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 image. Um, make this bad boy. Right. So basically, looking at a photograph of New York now, and I'm just going to rough in this. Uh, buildings, at least all the, uh, the vertical elements, so I can kind of just uh, play with them a little when I'm drawing them in. Which means I never really like have a proper, proper drawing of a building, but I have a much more fun way of Adding them in. I think they look a bit more interesting. Thank you. 
there's any questions or anything, walk away guys. I haven't talked to you in a while, so... Uh... Ask about that, no. Uh, there's the art book. Fog bodies. I guess that's really all I can talk about. Oh right, tape deck. Jeez, yeah, I started tape deck since uh, last was here. Um, do I do much preparation for tape deck as in questions, or do you do it off the cuff? Pretty much off the cuff. Um, Hespers, I'm sorry, Hespers, I keep forgetting what your your real your actual name is. Um, I do a little bit of preparation, like I kind of um, I'll take down some notes on my phone beforehand of just broad questions I have in mind. Um, I kind of like to let a I like to let a chat kind of flow, if that makes sense. And not just like, ask a question, wait for answer, ask a question, wait for answer. But um, I do make sure there's like, maybe I have like five or six questions to have. Because sometimes in the middle of a chat, you just really don't know what to say next. So at least I have a question ready to go. Um, but if I don't get my question answered, I'm also not really that bothered. Again, as long as they, it's a good... Um, as long as it's a good conversation, really, that's all that matters. What do you think of it? I mean, you're very nice, so you're not going to tell me you think it's shit. But, um, I haven't gotten much reaction. Like, I, it's different to social media or something. I, people don't really say much about They just either listen or they don't. So, by all means, uh, let me know what you think. And for those who don't know, uh, I do a podcast called Tape Deck, uh, a monthly podcast where I just talk to somebody whose work I like. She says, can you see this at all? I just realized how bright it is. Oh good, good, I'm glad it feels natural. Uh, Mark, a uh, bit on Jason was a lot of fun. Good, 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 because I talk a lot of shite with Jason. <laughs> so it's hard to know if any of it's actually, uh, like it's fun to be in the conversation. I don't know how fun it is to be, you know, witnessing the conversation, but um, no, good, good. I did it one, I did it a long time ago. That was, um, I did that at Heroes Con last year. So uh, it was nice to see it actually come out. And they're all really, really, really good. I'm not sure how mine holds up, frankly, but... Oh, cheers, Mark. That's like the first one. Um, the most recent one is Marcos Martin, and uh, he is really—he was really great to talk to. I was telling a friend I actually don't remember what we talked about because I haven't listened to it since. But he was very, very nice. Um, I was a little nervous talking to him because uh, you know he's amazing. But it's nice, even with people you're friendly with. I'm saying this to somebody today. Um, you know, whose work you maybe really respect or whatever. Um, you don't necessarily bring this stuff up in conversations sometimes because you're just being people. So um, the nice thing about the podcast is it gives me an excuse to um, talk about that stuff that I'm really interested in without worrying that uh, I'm being a nerd or anything to the person I'm talking to. And most people seem to be happy to have those chats anyway. So, yeah, it's good excuse. I'd be looking to have those conversations anyway, so it's nice to have them on, uh, on tape.
Well, you you met him, Mark, did you? Yeah, he's a really. I, I met him for dinner after that signing in Dublin, and uh, he was lovely. Actually, that's not true. Well, it is true. He was lovely, but um, I met him for dinner like three times when he was over. I thought he would be so sick of me, but he kept going. Oh, do you want to meet tomorrow? I'm like, uh, all right. Marcus Martin, I'll meet you. Okay, the moon's gonna go somewhere or the floor. It's here. Oh, I've been meaning to, I haven't seen Jamie in a while, so I've been meaning to ask him about it, because um, Marcos talked about him, and I figured out who it was. I was like, Jamie, because he told Mark, he told Marcus came all the way down from Belfast to see him, which was bollocks, because he had to come down, he came down that day anyway. But he probably did come down early to see him. Still, Jamie's full of shit. Do, 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 do. Uh, as for also brilliant intro. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> I totally forget every time a podcast goes out that I'm making a complete idiot of myself from the very beginning. But uh, yeah, that was. I'm glad you liked the intro. I'm sorry, I had to read an email there. Um, they, uh, yeah, that I, I meant to do something far more pretentious, but um, I just had fun with it in the end. Uh, I suppose, oh yeah, you were saying online you'd never know you knew about panels and to get. I mean, you should. Yeah, I, I expect you've checked it out since. It's uh, great. There's some lovely stuff on it. Is. Time for me to get my head cameo in here at some stage. And see what gives in. I got a Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange Mark, nice one. Uh, oh hey, um, long box. Oh, damn it! Sorry, long box. I forget your name. Oh, I'm really annoyed. What was your name? Was it Lauren or? Ah, crap. Sorry, I can't remember your name. Um, Longbox, but say it and I will remember again. Sorry, I'm a little rusty here. Jacqueline. Oh, sorry. Lauren. Where did I get Lauren from? Um, but hey, Jacqueline, nice to see you again. Mark, yeah, he, he told me that, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure Jamie got a lot of mileage out of that. I'd love to ask him about it. How are you, Jacqueline? How are you getting on? Keep an eye on the screen so my stupid head doesn't come in. I'm, I'm talking to my friend Mike, he's going to put a we're going to put a banner of some kind on the side of the screen here so that it saves my um, my dignity of, uh, of having the size of my face edging on this thing all the time. This pen's a little faded, actually. Now 
There we go. That's better. Stupid mouse. I'm sorry. I have a tendency to get up in a drawing when I'm doing detail and stuff. I'm going to get that banner on the side so you don't have to see that anymore. Uh, as for as how's Buffy, I really enjoy the Insta stories of her. Oh, I'm good. Uh, good, good, I'm glad. Because um, really. I have friends and they're always posting what they're doing and what they're up to, and I'm like, I'm just in a room with my cat. Um, but uh, yeah, she's grand. She just peed on the floor and I had to clean it up before I did this, which isn't annoying at all. But um, yeah, she's been very cute upstairs. I'm sure I'll sneak her in on one of these streams in the next uh, few weeks. She'll kind of peter her head in looking for food, and if I stand up, she'll run upstairs, so it's always a matter of catching her when she gets close enough. Check out good, nothing new, finish up moving to a new home. That's pretty new. Had your twitching today? I think I've missed the last few. No, Jacqueline, you haven't. I have not been doing this for a while. Um, yeah, I don't think I've been doing this for, I, I would say, two months probably. Um, when things get busy, uh, I, I have to just not, well, I hadn't any commissions taken, so one, that's one reason. But um, two, I was, um, yeah, busy with uh, other stuff, so couldn't really be doing these. Doing a lot of covers uh, in the last month or so, so um, they just ate up my time, and I can't show what I'm really working on, you know. She's a diva. She is a diva. That's for us. Mark, for those concerned, Buffy is Declan's cat. Yes, sorry, yeah, but yeah, Buffy is my cat, not a lady who I. Let me think. If that was a lady, what did I say about her? She peed on the floor. That doesn't sound good. She comes down when she wants food. That doesn't sound good either. And she pays attention to me when she wants food. Yeah, that'd be a very terrible, terrible relationship. Um. So no, uh, Buffy is not a lady. Well, she is, but she's a lady cat. Not slave person in my home. Well, I'm glad you're tuning in, uh, Jacqueline. Thank you very much. Is it, um, is it a big move? Are you moving far from where you were? Is it a family move? Is it a work move? I am... Um, Entertain me, essentially, is what I'm looking for. I am looking to be entertained while I do this. Entertained, or at least, uh... Yeah, at least entertained. Yeah, that's what I want. Mr. Fightful. Hello, Mr. Fightful. It's a mad lady who lives in a loft, craps and bark, pushes things off shelves, but aren't just cheap. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good deal, right? Take the rough of the smooth. 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 The hell is smooth? Thank you very much, Mike. Mike says that I'm smooth. Oh, yeah, Mike. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you doing with that desk? 
I, you're totally throwing me off. Um, I realize I should really start uh, thanking you as like producer of Tape Deck. Uh, uh, well, you already put it together for me, so I should actually be thanking you at the end. So remind me next time. Okay. Or at least like thanking you for the help. And now it's strictly professional. We're going back to professional. Friendship over. Uh, Mark, when's Mooney going to be on tape deck? The world needs more of his wisdom, or just the two of you ripping the piss out of each other. How dare you, Mark? You think I would sully the, the brand of tape deck with him? I, I, I don't think so. Um, but actually... Uh, the next one. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call up to his house on the weekend and tape it. Um, so he's, he's in South Dublin, I live in North Dublin, uh, as you probably know. Uh, maybe you do, maybe you don't know, I don't know. But um, yeah, I have another one in the bag that's already done. But I am... Um, uh, 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 for those who don't know, Stephen Mooney is... Uh, I'm going to say... Not a friend, but like guy I know, and um, he has a the new Black Widow series out with Marvel. So um, uh, I wanted to get it done before, it just didn't work out. So yeah, I'm gonna spoilers, but um, he's gonna be the next tape decky. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna call out to his this weekend, and uh, God knows what a mess of a podcast that's going to be, because all we do is uh, give each other a hard time. So it'll probably be the most entertaining or shambolic one, I'm not really sure. And uh, I've lined up a couple of tape decks when I'm in New York. A couple of people I've worked with over the years. Um, and that'll be the that'll be like nearly twelve then. Well, that'll, be, that'll be ten. But oh yeah, he's so good. Eh, exactly, Mark. An associate. He's an associate of mine. Um, and uh, Hesper, uh, Hesper uh, he's the one doing Black, Kid Black Widow. I wouldn't say he's so good. I would say he's so okay. He's fine. I mean, you know, if you like that sort of thing. I have a long, complicated relationship with Stephen Minnie. I wouldn't say love, hate. I would just say, like, not love, hate. Oh, hey Benji, how's it going, man? Yeah, I hope to see you at uh, T-Bubs too. I hope all's well with you. Can't, I uh, cannot complain, except for my face sticking into frame now and then. But uh, other than that, all is well. I hope uh, everything's going well with uh, the shop in Leeds. And, oh, sorry, not Leeds, in uh, York. I'd really like to head back, back up there, actually. That was such a lot. I'd like to do a... I was just thinking the other day how nice York was. I never really got to see too much of it. A new book out next year. I might try to hit some stores, so uh, I uh, might give you a shout. Or not. Maybe I want to remain elusive and mysterious. I don't read. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Radley. Who's this dapper chap, he, asks, he asks. Well, sir, I believe you may be familiar with him. Hesperus, I am using it correctly. Hesperus, you're using it correctly, but I will never admit that Mooney is sound. Never. It's never going to do It's just not going to happen. Mark will tell you. Mark will tell you if he's sound or not. Um, but I would never uh, say anything like that about Mooney. Let's see. How will I do this background? Will I do it in pen? Will I do it in brush? Ooh, I'm not sure. Let's see. I should start up that background music again. Dun, dun. Let's see, so 
in the pan. I like there it is. Do you do drop me a line? We'd love to have you back and show you around a bit. That'd be great, man. Cheers. And uh yeah, I mean, wouldn't be before top of it or anything like that, so, um, yeah, give me a shout. I did a lot of shows this year, so I think maybe next year, because uh, I'll have a couple of books out. Um, I might do less shows and more stores. That makes sense. So I'd still be traveling a bit, but, um, not just to the same uh, shows every all the time. Okay, I'll rub some of this out here, clean up a bit. If you two are ending the grand statement, Chief Starsky's friendship, I'm looking forward to that episode. <laughs> and you, you might be somewhere close, Hespers. I know Stephen Mooney well for a long time, but uh, we're Irish, so can't really um, admit any uh, genuine uh, emotions of any kind. There was a time uh, where I was uh, to be married and uh, he was to be my best man, but I couldn't actually bring myself to ask him because I didn't want to give him the satisfaction. That probably explains uh, our friendship a bit. <laughs> oh, well played, Mark. Mark asked if I ended the, the, the engagement rather than giving the satisfaction. That's my story. That is my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> oh, I gotta remember that one. Oh, I'm crying. Oh, that was good. I 
figure out what I want to do with this background. So I want to do it in brush or pen. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go brush, I think. I'll give it a I'll try it out. No wait, wrong one. Doesn't mess up really. Again, I don't like backgrounds looking too technical, so I'm trying to have a nice kind of arm. Um, Fairly organic look to the background, even though it's a cityscape. Which so far seems to be working. He said just before he messed it all up. The stuff I do when I use a pen for, so I'm not gonna fill it all in just yet. Ah, I apologize again for the uh, eyebrow close up there. Bless you. Anybody else have uh, tape deck questions or X-Men questions or uh, whatever the hell else I'm doing? Oh yeah, if anyone doesn't know, I announced uh, a couple, uh, two or three weeks ago, no, four weeks ago, I um, announced a, I'm doing a new graphic novel. Um, I'm gonna, I'll be moving into the promo phase in a bit, but um, uh, yeah, it's called God Bodies, so look out for that one. And I will be mentioning it a few more meeting times. But if anyone has any questions, you can ask here, and I'll answer them, because I always forget to not mind what I say on this thing. Like that time I called uh, another writer a cunt. That was a good, that was a good, that was a good move. That I made on a public forum. Do, do, do. What brush pens am I using? Looks great. Benji. Um, this is uh, just a Pentel brush pen. They're a lot more um, they're a lot more popular than when I started using them. They used to be very hard to find, but you can pretty much get them in any like good art shop. Um, and they're just refillable cartridges, effectively. I, I like I don't just use them for commissions, I use them on pages too, more than I use real brushes, which is kind of embarrassing, but they're um they're really good. They are pretty reliable. Um, they're really good for these type of lines when you're doing, like if I want to do a big, big broad line, they're not great. You see what I mean? They break up really easily. So it's not as good as a real brush with ink or if you want to get like a really big thick line. But for lines of like, like this, they're pretty good. You know, they're fairly, you can get various types of lines. 
I was blacking this out just in case I thought I lost my mind. So I've used this, these for the most part, and then I have some pens for sharper stuff like uh, I did earlier. But no, I use the brush there. You can actually see what I mean. You can get some nice thin lines, thick lines. Um, but for more technical stuff, I tend to use a brush pen. Sorry, a a pen and nib, or um. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. I'll, I'll I'll get to it. I'll show you as I'm using it. And if I don't, just ask. But yeah, these aren't ridic these aren't, rid aren't ridiculously um. Difficult or anything like that. Do 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 is for Ferrex's some of the excuse me. Uh, as for so the producer slash friend is also named Mark. No, Mike. Uh, Michael Doig, who was the first, one of the first, him and uh, India Swift were the first tape deck guests, which was partly an experiment, but also they had a very big um, project coming out, so it was a nice way for me to start podcasting with, with people whose work I already knew. And um, I actually even say um, it was partly, it was... Mike, who kind of pushed me to do it in the first place, I think we talked about it actually on this stream. He was asking if I'd ever do a podcast, and I said no, and now I'm doing one, and he's helping me, so what the fuck's that about, huh? Conspiracy, that's why. But uh, yeah, Mike, not Mark, sorry, my accent probably makes him sound the same. Do 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 and you mentioned a little in your newsletter about what interior pages slash covers are you suggesting to Marvel to use in the monograph book? Ah, good question. Um, it is a good question. Um, well, the writer of the book sent me this PDF where it basically has all the covers that are going to be in the book, um, at least all the ones he's catalogued so far. Um, I, If you read the newsletter, you saw I had a top 10 Marvel covers in there. Well, they're definitely, um, I made sure that I ticked those because I figured it was pretty handy. I'd already picked my favorite Marvel covers. So I said, those ones I definitely want. There was, because he had a PDF of all of them collected, it was kind of easier to look up, to go and look and go like, no, nah, maybe like that one. Um, so there's a, I would say there's probably four or five covers. I asked definitely not to be included. Um, not when there was like, say, 10 ones I really wanted, and the rest of them I was just all happy with. It would kind of be weird if, you know, of all the covers to be included, there was a few in there I hated. So, um, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I would say definitely the ones I had in the newsletter as being my favourite are definitely ones I suggest to be in there. Also, the recent... Because they'd picked ones that have been done, you know, out of all the years I've been doing uh, covers. There's more recent ones, like the House of X, Powers of X covers I've been doing, that I really like. Um, so I, I, I checked to see if they could be included, and they can. So, um, um, yeah, that, that's that's cool. I'm, I'm glad to know some of my best stuff is going to be in there. Um, oh, and I made up a folder of, like, a lot of prep stuff, a lot of prep stuff from Moon Knight from Fury, a couple of un unseen covers from Venom. So I've handed them into him as well to see what happens, because he, I looked at the other monograph books and there's not a lot of um, process stuff. So I, I made a point of asking if there could be, because anyone who likes my stuff does seem to like all that process stuff. And I think me too, if I was buying a book with by an artist I liked, I'd like to see stuff that I can't, I can't just like see online, you know? Anyway. Uh, Mr. Fightful, I think you might have been the first person I ever saw using a brush pen. And, you know, I'd say I wasn't one of the first to use it, but um, I was one of the early adopters, I would say. I think I saw Disraeli and Chris Somney and a couple of other people use it. So that's why it was a bit tough, because I had to actually look, I had to go and look at the forest. And there wasn't really, I had to buy, I think I ordered it online. They were very hard to get in our shops, but now they're a lot, a lot easier to get. Although I find them a little less reliable these days. 
So I tend to get a few different ones, um, in case one never really kind of like balls us up on me. I um, let me see, uh, Jacqueline, excited for the project. Can we be on the lookout for any variants for Moonlight once the new run starts, or too far out to tell them that? I, I can't help you there, Jacqueline. I mean, nobody tells me nothing. Um, uh, somebody DM me said, "Are you involved in the new Moonlight thing?" And I was like, "What the hell are you talking about?" And it turned out that show was happening. Um, so, I mean, no one's going to ask me. You know, I might get asked. I might get asked to do a cover. Um, that tends to happen. But also, um, yeah, I mean, I don't own Moonlight. Marvel owns Moonlight, so they just kind of do their own thing, really. You know. But um, it's fun to do stuff like that. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't um, immediately say no. But at the same time, you know, I drew Moon Eye Fears. You know, it's been a few years, so it's let other people do their thing too, you know. I mean, I have no idea what like what they're doing with the show or anything like that, so um who knows really, sorry. Can't be more information there. Uh, Mark, I think the Rubik one is out tomorrow. I actually have the Rubik one, Mark. Um I, uh, he had some copies at um, a nice con that I was at last weekend, so I picked up one for, off him and one off uh, Adi Ranov. So um, they're nice. They're they're really really. Where is it? I have it here. I have it. Yeah, here's the uh, absolute Rubik one. Really nice. Uh, not pretty. So there's some nice process stuff, like um, character designs and stuff. So yeah, it's class. So I'm I'm really excited to. I mean, it's purely it's purely um. Uh, me and my ego and whatnot, but um. It'll be class to uh, to be included with all those guys, you know. I'm kind of really surprised to be inc included with them, to be honest. Uh, it's frightful. 2006, you're likely to remember me, but I used to work in an Aberdeen comic shop. Steve? Yes. Is it Steve, Mr. Frightful? I think I remember you used to have that handle. And of course, and if it is Steve, of course remember it, because I just said your name, and it's been uh, 10 years. Uh, Vandal, what's the odds on you growing to dislike the covers you chose? That is a fair question. Um, I don't think so. I'm, I'm not, I'm not too bad. I, I'm not, I don't hate everything I do, um, like, like a lot of people. I mean, there's definitely stuff I've done that I'm not happy with in retrospect, but um, I uh, yeah I I no no the ones I picked out of like 150 covers I picked 10 that I really liked. I'm gonna say I'll I'll stick with those. There's probably ones that I'm happy with that I will grow to hate, but for now I'm not happy. Don't ruin my happiness, man. Come on, give me give me some slack. Uh, Shona, we met twice, maybe it was before you moved up. Oh, that rings a bell. Ah, uh, I know the name. Sorry, Shona, it's escaping me now. I'm better with faces with the name of names. Are you, are you still in Aberdeen? And yeah, I mean, I'd encourage everybody to pick up those art books, mainly because um, I'm really glad that they're doing them. I, Marvel kind of, it's not really their thing. They don't do a lot of them, so um, if they do well, there'll be more, which is good. Like, I, you know, I can't criticize Marvel for not doing X, Y, and Z if people aren't buying them. And they're, yeah, the War of Rams um, art book's really cool. And yeah, these monograph books have been really nice so far. I like I like the format. When I was told the the uh, size of the artwork had to be for the cover, I was like, oh, that's a pain in the arse. 
but no, it's actually it is quite nice seeing them in print because I only got to see a um, I only got to see a PDF of the uh, Umberto Ramos uh, one. Moved away in 07. Okay, where are you now? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, Vandal, it was not the intention. I rarely like my older stuff. Uh, no, I I mean, yeah, that happens. So I, don't, I, won't, I won't say what book, but there was a book of mine I looked at a while ago going, I remember this. I was really happy with this. And then I looked through it and I was not happy with it at all. I was like, oh, I was uh, very unhappy. What are you gonna do? Like there's stuff that I look back and I'm like, oh, I'm not really happy with that. But that was one of those books where I was happy with this. And then, uh, yeah, that changed. Changed dramatically. But no, uh, I might also, okay, I, I'm able to kind of separate myself a little and go, no, this was good. This was a good piece. Not all the time, but I think I'm fairly, fairly well adjusted where I can kind of step back and objectively go, you know, this is, you know, I'm not the best in the world, but uh, I'm all right. It's probably about six weeks ago because one of the times we met was a dinner out with David Lloyd. Shona, I remember dinner with David Lloyd. Uh, I can't, uh, I'm really embarrassed. I'm really sorry. I do remember being quite starstruck though at uh, that time. That was, I think, the time I came over. Um, I think I did a signing. Oh, no, I wouldn't have been signing at the same time as David Lloyd. But I do remember, yeah, it was before I moved over. told you to make sure the shadows went all the way to the feet. Oh, no, damn it, you've got a good memory. I don't, I don't remember that. Oh, it's really annoying me now. I hope I, I hope I bloody listened to him. He's been really nice. He still like remembers me to this day. I'm like, how the hell do you remember me? For those listening, um, I uh, I met Shoda when I went to Aberdeen in Scotland one time. Then I um, I met David Lloyd there. I've met loads of people through through that store. Um, I ended up moving there and uh, having a studio space there for nearly two years. But uh, that was a great experience for me. Yeah, the Aberdeen crowd, they certainly like to drink. <sighs> well, not that I don't, but... Uh, it's nice to hear from you, Shoda. Hope you're well. Did I miss where you said where you were, where you were living now? Seven. Yeah, wherever you're living now, hope, hope, you're, hope you're doing well. Um, for those, so um, Benji, if you're still there, um, this is I use this a lot too. This is a dip pen, so it basically it's just um, can you see this? Yeah, so it's just a metal dip pen, and I have a holder here. Take that in, and I use this for a lot more like hard lines. They're not necessarily straight lines because I do them by hand, so they wobble a bit. But I like I like a little bit of wobble. That sounds pretty bad. Can I rephrase that? It doesn't sound like I'm talking about a woman. No, not really. I think I would just screw myself over. But um, yeah, I like uh, I like something to kind of be a little bit off sometimes. I, I don't like things to look too perfect. Um, probably because I uh, fail all the time. Um, the, you know, so I'm not using a ruler and stuff. I used a ruler to draw the lines, but then I I do, I do what I can my like, hand to 
to freehand as much as possible. Um, on actual pages and stuff, I'll probably use a ruler more, but especially with sketches and commissions, I like to be as um, kind of experimental as possible. And stuff like this, you can't control it 100%, so it's good because you're, you're, there'll always be something unplanned about it, which I, I, is frustrating, but also exciting, if that makes sense. Married dog, happy. Sounds great. Sounds great, man. I am not married, don't have a dog, but I have a cat, and I draw comics. So, see, happy out. Benji, hang on a second, I'm going to um, do these lines and then I'll respond. Benji, I've been drawing tattoo flash for the cast over the years and took a break in life. Now it's pretty much heading towards drawing their own stuff now, though. Broad question, but any major advice you would offer someone looking to start out as a comics artist? It is a broad question, Benji, and it's a little hard to answer, but um, let me let me see if I can think of something. Well, this is what I say, I pretty much say as a standard now, so bear with me. Um, start, just start, start doing it. Um, uh, too often, you, a lot of people will just be kind of like planning and planning and planning for ages and then not actually do it. So start. Just make a start. That's the hardest thing to do. Same with writing even. Just make a start and then it's just a matter of bringing out what to do after that. So that's a... And also, small projects. If you're if you're taking a break from writing or maybe you're trying to draw something that you wrote, then I would recommend you do a short story. Um, three, pa three pages? Just as an exercise, um, do that because it's a lot easier to finish. Um, the problem is people kind of start thinking in bigger stories and they get too ambitious and then they never actually finish the thing they're doing. And it's a lot easier to say if you wanted to run a marathon, I say this is somebody who's never ran a marathon, but you know you don't just start running straight away, you train, you know, and you start building up your endurance. And the same is to be said for drawing comics because anyone can just draw a comic, but um, Drawing a comic and then drawing another one and another one and another one um, is tough work. So doing short stories like that is a good way to practice your craft and get better. Um, more specifically, I would say, let's see, that would be a good thing to say, somebody starting out. Um, have a good idea of what the focus of each page is. Um, if it's a domestic story, and the wife is telling her husband that she's pregnant, well then, you know, you're not going to do a zoom in when the guy is picking his nose, are you? You're going to, you're going you're gonna to want to know that that is a very important moment in that page and work back from there. Figure out what, what's the most important thing you need to draw on that page. It doesn't need to be the biggest. It doesn't need to be the flashiest. Understanding the story that you're 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 drawing, what is the point of the story, so that you don't lose it among, you know, some element of fancy drawing or a perspective drawing. Um, it's a uh, you know think story first, and then kind of work your way back as regards like the technical stuff. Um, does that help? I think I know they don't seem like maybe they may not seem seem extremely helpful, but um. I find it's um, 
you know, a lot of the basics are in there. Uh, also, practice drawing people in suits. Case in point, this guy. But um, the amount of times you need to draw a gangster, suit. Or a government agent, suit. Or a businessman, suit. Um, yeah, it, it just happens very, very often. So um, that's something I would uh, practice at because it's going to be asked a lot of you in the, in the drawing comics. The president, suit. Politician, suit. The banker, suit. You know, gangster, suit. See what I'm getting at? Like, fuck superheroes. Like, suit, a suit is the most important costume in comics, I would say. Anyway, I'm just saying here. Uh, GG Matrix, good advice. Thank you. Uh, Benji, thanks, Jack. Pretty great advice. Thank you very much. You're very, very welcome, man. Um, happy to. Happy to chat it up. Oh, good. I'm glad you. I'm glad you all think it's good advice. Um, like, I would say, like, what what goes around a lot is like you know just make comics, and I know a lot of people don't like hearing that advice, but it is just the case. Um, you just got to do the thing. It was the same with writing, man. I, I was scared to write for so long, and um, you know, I just it wasn't going to happen unless I just started doing it, which is so weird because like. Comics was not a problem in that regard, I just kind of started doing it. But I would say another thing, just stepping back a little bit as regards uh, doing short things, I'm just going to warn you, like, let's let's be real, Benji. Whatever you draw, it's going to suck. It's going to suck. It's not going to be very good. But that's okay, because you're never brilliant at something when you start out. So doing something short, I think, is good because it makes you less precious about the thing you did. If you spend a year on a 100-page graphic novel and then you finish it, you're going to be very sensitive about it, especially if it's your first thing. But if you do a three-page story and then three weeks later you're drawing whatever and you look back at that story, it's going to be a lot easier for you to spot mistakes, accidents, things that you're not happy with. You're able to self-evaluate at a much um, faster rate than if you're doing a long form project. So again, when you're starting out, it's much better to kind of um, exercise the, those, exercise that kind of um, muscle, as it were, <laughs> obviously muscle, um, but exercise uh, that way of thinking or, or, or that like, building that into your routine of evaluating your, your, yourself, your, your stuff. It's just so much easier with short work, you know? Sorry, I'm just having to get some emails. Okay. Sorry, I just sent off. Um, can't say what, but it was a couple of roughs for a cover, and um, when I did them, I'm like, B is better. B is a better cover. I hope they pick B, but um, as I suspected, they picked A. But, you know, what are you going to do? It happens. That's why I'm chuckling. Okay. Let's see. Get another brush here. Where's my brushes? Oh, yeah. Cool, okay, glad that makes sense, man. I'm going to draw a little bit of the brush here just to. Just to make it a little bit more uh, looser.
I don't have any questions. Um, Esper's lovely style on the sketch. Thanks, Esper's. Cheers. Uh, that's kind of you. GGG Matrix, uh, can ink wash be reactivated if water spilled on it or does it stay put? Uh, it stays super put, G Matrix. Um, you might have, a, like, if you put down, if you put it down in water, you've got like maybe, you know, 10, 15 seconds to tweak it a little. But once it's there, it's there. Like, it, it doesn't, when it dries, it's just done. That's, there's no, nothing you can really do about it. Which makes it a little bit, a little scary. But also forced you to commit as well, you know. Okay, I've never used ink wash. I'm going to try and get some work on. Go for it, man. Go for it. Maybe just take a sheet of paper on the side and play around with it just for a second. Not, I mean, you're not going to make. You're, it's always going to be a risk, but um, just see how it kind of lands and um, dries. Just so you have a rough idea of what you're dealing with. Just sketch with it a little bit. Nothing, nothing serious, you know. And then, uh, then try it on your piece. And good luck with it too. Um, 
as I try to have an idea of what you're trying to do with the grey wash stuff. Um, you know, some people some people just put grey down and think they make it look really cool, but um, uh, I try to think in terms of value. Um, if if you're making if you're adding grey to a black and white piece, you got to remember that black needs to work and white needs to work and grey needs to work. So don't just load the thing full of grey. Try to be decisive about where you're putting it. I, for example, won't have any on Moon Knight. I'll have a little bit on the moon, and then do a little bit of grey wash stuff in the windows, just to imply there's more density of activity going on. And maybe a little bit here, but again, leave the... I think I'll, I'll leave the extreme foreground white. That way, it pushes everything in the foreground to white. Moon Knight would have been white anyway, because that's what I do with him, but in the context of the piece, it'll, it'll, it'll all work. Oh, I haven't lost everybody there. Now, saying that, I don't know exactly how it's going to look, but I have a rough idea now. You know? Should just use a bigger brush for the rest of this. This has been a really education live stream. The last time we all talked about chocolate and beer for a while. <laughs> you get a broad diverse of stuff here, Jacqueline. This is what you come for. You come for a, a diversity of uh, of talking points, and uh, I'm 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 glad I can provide that for you. But it just comes down to whoever talks. That's you know you guys set the tone of the conversation. Well, maybe I do by being an idiot, but um. I I go with what I'm uh, I'm fed. <laughs> See what I'm looking for here. I'll switch to a big brush. Here, big brush. Oh, there we go. Uh, so, are you into shows right now? Going off the educational course, I am fine with talking about shows, Jacqueline. Um, yes, I am into shows. Are you into shows? What are you watching? And I'll I'll share too. Or you tell me. You type, and I'll talk. Um, what am I watching at the moment? I was just watching. So I'm watching that. Um, I just started watching that spy. Or, or uh, the spy show on Netflix, um, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. Uh, I love spy stuff, so it's just right up my alley. So it's like a true story of some um, guy who's spying for as far you know, as far as the show goes uh, in um, in Syria in the sixties. But uh, yeah, I love all that stuff. Um, so watching that, I'm watching Succession at the moment, which is fantastic. Um, uh, that's great if you're not watching it I highly 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 recommend it um, are you what we do in the shadows on Hulu yes yes that's excellent loved it I mean I love the film I think I might prefer the show though um, uh, 
uh, it's, uh, that's great. Um, I finished watching something called Counterpart on Amazon, and that was amazing. Unfortunately, it got cancelled. So, very upset. But I will say, if anybody hasn't watched it, um, it gets cancelled at the end of season two. But I think it ends on, an, on a very good note. Uh, if the show is going to end, be cancelled. It's a good way to do it. Um, let me see what else. Uh, do, 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 do. The boys, I know everyone's talking about. I was skeptical about it, but I have to say I quite liked it. That was really good. Um, what else am I watching? I think what else? The hell else am I watching right now? Yeah, can't remember. There's, I'm looking to. I want to watch the Righteous Gemstones. I've heard that's great, and um, I really liked uh, Danny McBride's previous show, um, Vice Principals. I really liked that. So um, that's next on my list of stuff to start watching. I tend to watch. Um, something comedy during the day and uh, in the evening watch a drama like I'm big into my like uh, drama shows and I'm contemplating doing a six feet under rewatch because a friend of mine mentioned it to me yesterday and I was like I haven't seen that watch that show in years so I think I might watch some emotionally harrowing drama again Try the new Carnival show on Amazon. Mixed feeling on that. How come? What was your mixed feeling? Because I saw the trailer and I thought, hmm, I don't think I want to watch that at all. <laughs> um, just uh, as the, It just didn't really grab me, I have to say. I'm also not hot on fantasy-esque stuff, but I try not to let... Um, I try not to let that stop me from watching something, if you know what I mean. I try not to judge something on the genre it is. But um, that was already a strike against it. In my book, so why, without getting to specifics, is there a reason why you weren't uh, into it? And, uh, I watched the Bill Burr special uh, yesterday, which was great. I, although I'd seen him do most of it live. Um, anyway, it was still great to see, and uh, I saw the Dave Chappelle one as well, and I thought that was fucking hilarious. But uh, when I was I didn't really watch anything when I was on holiday, which is it's weird when I when I go on holiday, or if I choose to go on holiday, I tend to um, just want to watch shows and read books and stuff. But um, I actually didn't really watch any shows while I was away, so I guess it's good. Oh, Mark, uh, we're just talking um, TV shows while we're watching. Uh, Longbox was saying she tried out Carnival Row and it wasn't, she wasn't won over. Or what, what did you say specifically? Um, mixed feelings. Okay. But pretty much that. I didn't believe those wings were big enough to, for a person to fly, and honestly, I couldn't get past that. That's fair enough. I mean, again, I, again, I try not to judge stuff too harshly. Um... And you know, you're, you know, you're watching stuff about fairies and stuff. You gotta have a level of disbelief. But I do, at the same time, I think a show needs to make itself plausible before it, you can make those big leaps. And um, I get that. Oh, and Marika was saying that um, uh, I am currently watching. Uh, succession and uh, we were both saying what we do in the shadows is great and I was saying counterpart was brilliant a show that nobody has ever heard of but is amazing um, I mean it's got it's got um, JK Simmons and oh, what's that? Emily what's that, that British actress she's brilliant she was in everything um, 
she was in Rushmore and uh, God damn it, I can't remember her name now. But anyway, just watch Counterpart. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Uh, I'm probably going to watch that. Uh, I think the new series of Jack Ryan is going to be on Amazon again. Like I was saying earlier, I'm a big, uh, I'm big into those kind of spy shows, espionage stuff. So I'll watch the crap out of that. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm watching: White Collar. Um, it's kind of a procedural, like. I'm not going to say it's a great show, but uh, I've been playing it while I'm drawing because I'm not super invested in it. But it's pretty fun. I'm actually liking it. Like, I wouldn't say sit down, you know, you've got to watch this. But if you watch, I kind of passively have things on while I draw sometimes. If it's, you know, basically if I'm inking. Um, not if I'm writing or anything like that. In any way, i got to use my brain. But, um... If I'm just passively working away, I'll throw on maybe a show I've already seen. But in case of White Collar, it's grand. You know, it's an hour long. One episode's over, I know an hour has passed. It's mildly entertaining. It's a bit of enjoyable. Um, it's one of those things on Netflix, I'm like, I'm not watching that shit. But then I threw it on, and it was actually kind of fun. And the main guy in it is so fucking handsome. Good God, he's beautiful. Um, I, yeah, I mean, he's just, I, I, he should be Superman, he should play the next Superman, he looks, he looks amazing, um, yeah, I'm starting to question everything watching him on screen. Like, do I even like girls? Are they so great? I don't know, this white collar guy is pretty handsome. So, uh, yeah, well, don't watch that show if you're questioning your own sexuality as a dude. It's dangerous. Do, 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 do. Okay, how long am I doing this for now? Ooh, nearly two hours. Uh, thanks, uh, Brennan in hell. Burnin in hell. Haha, <laughs> I get it. I get jokes. Uh, thank you. It's not finished yet, but I'm, I would say I'm maybe 10 minutes away from finishing it. Um, and uh, Jacqueline, uh, no comment. Are you still doing your um, makeup pieces, Jacqueline? I, I, I can't. I don't think I've seen any in a while. But I don't know if that's because uh, I haven't seen them or you haven't been doing them. Uh, how do you feel with the new Moon Knight live action series using your local from your own? Uh, I think it's great. I'm all for it. I um, think it's really, really, really cool. I have no idea if they're going to use any of the content for the show itself. Um, but uh, yeah, for those who don't know, they announced the Moon Knight TV show is happening. And they they didn't use exactly, their, they used basically the, the bulk of uh, the logo that... Um, we, I say we as in, um, like myself and Jordy kind of put that together. Um, so it's pretty cool seeing it. Uh, I prefer to use that one than any of the other ones. Um, but uh, So it makes me optimistic that they're going to use stuff from our run, but uh, who bloody knows? It ain't me who knows, that's for sure. But um, yeah, it's all quite exciting. Like, realistically, the best I can hoped for is that my, my name pops up in the credits at the end. That's all the involvement I'll have with it. But um, it's nice seeing something you came up with, like 
in that kind of context. I was putting stuff together for the uh, art book and I found like the the file I made for the actual logo. I was like, wow, that's so weird that that's like a TV show logo now, effectively. Mark, I think you're wrong. It's the obvious choice. I would think so, right? I mean, come on, right? Especially if they're starting it like with a limited, you know, episode run, because um, you don't need to really know anything about Moon Knight to uh, to to read that run that we did. Um, sorry, I'm looking for my. Where is it? It'll be in here. Run one. Sorry, I'm looking for my brush. There we go. Found it. Uh, check out, I haven't done one since Sea of Stars issue one. I haven't seen that one. Uh, I've just been moody and too busy, but I'm getting everything set back up now. That's great, good for you, Jack. Um, I asked earlier, but if you, you, you uh, saw what, what, why you move, so like life or work or, uh, I hate moving, I despise it, uh, and I uh, yeah, don't envy you having to do it. I have bought a house, that's cool. Congrats. You are uh, officially grown up now. That's great, good for you. You are a landowner, yeah. You're now the man, for lack of a better term. Sorry, I'm trying to rub out all the pencil, but there's little bits of wet ink here and there that I don't want to hit a smudge. The man is taking away my own. You've now become what you hate, Jacko. shadow these background elements so that it, the city lights is something to kind of contrast against. <laughs> I 
Well, congratulations on me becoming part of the problem, Jagon. I'll check out that Sea of Stars one as well. He did. I'm sorry I missed it. Actually, I'm sorry I missed that book. I haven't read that book yet. No worries, Mark. Thanks for tuning in, despite the, the lateness. There uh, should be a few more streams in the next uh, while, so you might see you at those. Just um, adding some little dots, some details, and windows. Just kind of just implies there's like life going on. Uh, burn in hell. If I'm not mistaken, you ink yourself. That's correct. I do. Um, but would you have anyone ideal in mind to ink your pencils? Um, no, I uh, would not have anyone ideal in mind. Um, you know, if I was go if someone was going to do it. I'd like to be so different that I, I can't like um, compare like so it's interesting coming from a, a writing point of view and um, when I see artists write scripts that I write I have it in my head and sometimes what they draw is something very similar to what I had in mind and sometimes what they what they draw is something very different and I think that's interesting so I think if someone's going to ink me I'd like to see it be like um, so like Tom Fowler, who's an amazing draftsman, but also um, he's a very different artist to me. So I think what he, whatever he would do, would be very interesting. Um, um, if you ever seen Kevin Nolan ink Gil Kane, uh, I think that's really interesting because apparently Gil Kane uh, liked when Kevin Nolan inked him, even though it was very different from what his own inks looked like. And I thought that was cool. So I mean, I think this made me think seeing somebody do something very different would be interesting. Um, I've tried ink somebody before. I tried. I inked um, Stephen Mooney. We did a he did an angel drawing one time that I inked out of, for fun, and that was kind of interesting. Um, but uh, I'd have a hard time letting go now, to be honest. I just uh, I've been doing this for never say never. You never know. Well, okay, actually, I should uh, say as well, I've had people help me out with inking sometimes. Um, and some work, uh, Owen Marin helped me out with inking some figures and stuff. And uh, Stephen Thompson helped me one time before. And uh, Thompson was very different. Owen, there was a little bit of a similar sensibility, but um, um, he still inks. What he does in his inks is still different to what I do in mine, so um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, but that's different because I was deliberately trying to make that look like my work, whereas a different project of mice or a different piece I might be more open to seeing it look different. If that makes sense? Sorry, I think I might be just uh, talking nonsense now. Um, Jacqueline, you know, as as we are, uh, as we have pros, I've been signing the monster traits to catch up. Been liking that a lot. Yeah, I felt really bad. I met um Sana Takeda at a show in Dublin very recently, and um, um, I anything I've seen of monsters looks amazing, but it's kind of one of the, it kind of looks really intimidating to look at as a as an artist. So I kind of avoided it, but um, I'm going to correct that and actually yeah read the book. Because I've heard nothing but brilliant things about it. Um, Monsters keeps getting better. That's good to know. Um, oh, box. Yes, I'm on the third right now. Living the dead with growing the environment. Of okay, I'm going to read it. I'll read it. Uh, Burn in hell and no worries about hearing about the process. Oh, cool. No worries. Uh, cheers, Brendan. I'm always happy to talk process stuff too. 
But clearly I ramble on a little bit about a chick song. There you go. Give me something to talk about. <laughs> oh, good, good. So, I don't know, sometimes uh, you can just talk in nonsense. Or I'm worried people think I'm talking nonsense. Hey, Tooth, I am back. I'm back, baby. Back for a little bit of time only. Uh, I, yeah, don't worry about this, I, I'm kind of wrapping up uh, in the next few minutes too, but um, I'm going to be doing my New York Comic Con pieces over the next, well, four weeks, I guess, because uh, it's on in four weeks. Is anyone here going to New York Comic Con? Except uh, Hesperus, you are, aren't you? Oh, thanks, too. Cheers. Yeah, it's coming together. Oh, it's got the look to two fantasies for me, but a shop employee push on. He has this amazing book. She was right. Yeah, um, similar, actually, the box had uh, been there for similar taste because um, it looked very fantasy ish for me, to me. And I'm, I'm, like we were saying earlier, I'm not a huge fantasy guy. Um, but, you know, good is good, really, at the end of the day. So I'll, I'll definitely check it out. <laughs> when it rains, a uh, sad day, no, maybe never. On Orlando in April. Cool. I've never, never been to that one. Kitty Oki. I'm done here. I'm gonna just touch up some little bits. Mm -hmm. Um. So, are you going to try and regularly schedule screens, streams again? Um. I'm going to try. Um. I'm not exactly sure when uh, I'm going to be doing them. To be honest, because um, schedule's a little tight. I'm doing them today because um, I'm waiting back for approvals and some covers, and uh, I still don't have them. So um. I figured I'd jump on the commission, get this done and out of the way. So um, I don't think they're going to be regularly streamed, like before, regularly scheduled, um, like before. I think it'll just be um, a case of me doing a couple. I think what I'll probably do is do a two in a day. Because I have nine to do. Well, actually eight now that this guy's pretty much done. Um, and i got to work it around my schedule because I am still busy. Frankly, yeah, I'm kind of too busy to be doing commissions, but it's New York, so I'm going to do them. Figure it out. So that's the, um, that was the long-winded answer to your question, uh, too. Sorry, but uh, yeah, they won't be regularly streamed, but um, I'll try that people, I'll try to say, announce it on Twitter, you know, on the day.
You're celebrating your 40th birthday, Disney Universal, and ending with the carnival. Well, that's 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 deadly. It's a nice way to do it. Okay, I think we're done, guys. Oh yeah, is the Star Wars thing open or not? I'm not sure. Um, I saw my friend, my Will was at the um, the what do we call it? The Millennium Falcon yoke. Looks pretty class. Um, Okay, nice. I'll do a little uh, close up of this as well here. So you can see how the buildings are a little uh, just kind of blocked in and then just kind of an impressionistic look to make them more lived in effectively. But, um, but it works. Yeah, it just kind of gets a feel as a living city behind it. I hope at least that was what I was trying to do. But, um, yeah. Oh, nice, Espers. Cheers. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, I can't promise it'll be during your lunchtime. Uh, probably one of them will be uh, the way it'll land, but um, just when, when I can manage it, really. But I think if you subscribe to this, um, or if you follow, I can't remember which it is. I think if you subscribe to this channel, it'll like, give you an alert when I'm when I'm doing it. So try that. That's my best suggestion to you. But um, uh, thanks, Reigns. Thanks, uh, Jackman. Um, yeah, thanks a minute, guys. Cheers. Uh, this was this was a good way to get back into it. So yeah, keep an eye out. There's, I think, you yeah, have to do have to do now eight more over the next few weeks. So. You know, yeah, I should I hope to see you back here again soon. Um yeah. Okay. I'm out of here guys. Uh catch you later. Be good. Bye. I love you, bye.